first step, put up the framing and build the wall. There's sheet rocking and a solution to the sound insulation problem between the theater and Christine's bedroom. This is the product named Quiet Track, and what, what is here is like a two slice, two pieces of drywall, quarter inch each, and there is a piece of metal which is glued in between, and this actually is stopping lots of sound penetrating the wall. Very interesting, they said you cannot just screw it to the wall. They said we just have to glue it because there is some, some detail with the sound going through the drywall, different way if you screw it into the stuff. Next, simultaneously, Patrick and his partner Scott pull cable for the audiovisual equipment. Jacob and his colleague Chris build and wrap the box columns as well as put up the sound hey, insulation. You're so cute. And Gideon will run the power. For Gideon, a dedicated power source is critical. So behind here, we have our circuit panel. And this is where the power is sent to the whole rest of the house. And it runs up, and it's strapped every three feet all the way across the top plate. And it enters into the ceiling, which is where we drilled into the floor of our new room. OK, so here we are. This is, this is our dedicated circuits from the main panel. This is where they enter into the room. And from here, we have the wires coiled up under here. And we'll need to get them over to our main power boxes for the stereo equipment, the subwoofers, the lighting, all of that. So we push the wire through the floor, and it comes up through this wall, and it terminates here, as you can see. It comes up in, and it'll go into this box, and we'll call it, this is our central location for all our power. This kind of looks like a mess right now, but this is feeding the whole rest of that room. Next, Gideon and Jacob build the front stage, and the rear platform. It's designed to elevate the back seating row and deliver unimpeded sight lines. Uh, that's enough of everything, actually. When it comes to audiovisual cable in this home theater, Patrick's got his hands full. Hold up. That would be great. OK, so here we are in the room that will become the family's home theater room. We have a right speaker, center channel, and left speaker. The center channel is probably the most important speaker in a 5.1 surround sound system. 80 to 90% of the sound will come through this speaker. We have two rear speakers in the back. They'll be mounted at air level, again, with a quality M1.2 speaker cable. We'll have a projector mounted on the ceiling, a high-definition DLP. Then Jacob gets down to his specialty, sound insulation. He's minimizing the sound transmission outside of the room and maximizing the definition and clarity inside the room. He's using a product called Whisper Wall. Beginning with a track called an extrusion, he outlines a rectangular area. What I'm doing right now, I'm putting the staples into the extrusion, the plastic extrusion, which uh, is going to hold the fabric in place. He fills it with insulation, then covers it with fabric. Now you can see how much stretch we can get out of this fabric. And what I do, I just stretch it and push it in, and now I can just roll it back into the corner, put the seam all the way to the corner. Then he cuts off most of the excess fabric and forces in the remaining edges. 
And that's the way we're doing this. We're forcing this fabric, the excess of fabric into the track system. Meanwhile, across the hall, Patrick is missing some critical equipment. 